I am so excited and honored to be your master of ceremonies tonight. I mean, it's a special, special night. We are in Asbury Park, New Jersey, man. Asbury Park, come on, this is great. The induction uh, ceremony for the New Jersey Hall of Fame class of 2015. So great to be with you and uh, celebrate the people that make our state so great. I am Jersey born and raised, born in Passaic, New Jersey. Thank you, thank you. Then lived in Belleville, Newark. Anybody from Bloomfield Avenue? Come on, come on, Bloomfield, that's my town. And then we went up with all the wasps to West Essex, up in North Caldwell up there. <laughs> it was great though, I'm so proud, and I stand before you so proud to be from this great state. You know, I was talking to, with the great Governor Tom Kane, who you'll hear from shortly, and it's just the, the texture and the character and the fabric, and our families are here, and our communities are here. And you know what, we stay here, and I'm so proud to be from Jersey. All right. Tonight is all about our Hall of Fame class of 2015. Some of our inductees you may know well, others may uh, not know so much, but each one is a, de a deserving, a richly deserving person you know, for this honor of being voted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame. So we're gonna get this party started. This man I'm gonna introduce to you is a dear friend of mine, and he puts this whole thing together. He is the chairman of the New Jersey Hall of Fame Board of Commissioners, three-time Super Bowl champion, ladies and gentlemen, two with the Jersey Giants. Please welcome Mr. Bart Oates. All right, Joe Piscopo. I'm here with Joe Piscopo, how cool is that? Well, I'm here to uh, introduce our first inductee, and it gives me great pleasure tonight to introduce James Fenimore Cooper. As we saw in the opening video, our great state has much diversity, and over time, this diversity has inspired literary tradition and has, and has produced many great writers and poets. Long Branch's Norman Mailer and Newark's Philip Roth, Bayonne's George Double R. Martin, and Patterson, Patterson's Allen Ginsberg, Elizabeth's Judy Bloom and Rutherford's William Carlos Williams are just some of the well-known names that have lived here and whose experiences here in New Jersey helped influence their work as they put pen to paper. James Fenimore Cooper was one of the first in that long line of literary superstars. His novel, The Spy, was the great great-grandfather of books like The Born Identity and Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. He wrote tales of the sea, biographies, and histories, stories with social and political themes, and his historical romances of frontier Indian life, most notably the books in his Leatherstock series were a sensation and helped to create a unique form of literature that was truly American. He became so well known that when he died, Washington Irving and William Cullen Bryant co-chaired a dinner held in honor that was hosted and featured Daniel Webster. And while he was on his deathbed, Franz Schubert, the great Austrian composer, asked for only one thing, to be read more novels of James Fenimore Cooper. Ladies and gentlemen, to accept this honor, please welcome the guardians of James Fenimore Cooper's birthplace from the Burlington County Historical Society, Executive Director Lisa Fox Pfeiffer, and Education Director Jeff Masechak. You might know him from the rest stop on the New Jersey Turnpike, or you might know him for writing The Last of the Mohicans, and now you know he was born in Burlington, New Jersey in 1789. The first author to use truly American subjects and landscapes, including cowboys, frontiersmen, Native Americans, and pirates. He was a leading figure in the American Romantic movement and is even credited with creating the modern Western. His books, especially Last of the Mohicans, are loved around the world, and we are proud to preserve his birthplace in Burlington for future generations. The Cooper House, as we call it, 
was the first property purchased in 1923 by a savvy group of women who founded the Burlington County Historical Society. We are very excited to represent a native son of Burlington County at the Hall of Fame, and we thank you. Thank you so very much for James Fenwicker.